Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com on 10th of April 2018 the Reserve Bank of India switched back from GVA model to GDP model so what is GVA model and how it is different from GDP model and why RBI switched back to GDP model so today we are going to discuss this before starting this video let me tell you about RBI grade B 2018 course by team bank exams today so we are providing daily video classes for both phase 1 and phase 2 so along with the video classes you will get the complete study material and you will get the full length mock test series for phase 1 and phase 2 15 tests for phase 1 and 10 tests each for the each subject of phase 2 we will also provide the assistance for the interviews so in case you are interested in RBA grade B course you can directly call me or the link to join the course is available in the description please check the description so let's start so first of all this is very important that this question this is a question in itself that RBI switched back from GDP uh, from GVA to GDP model right so first of all the Reserve Bank of India has readopted the GDP based Meyer to offer its growth so as we did the bi-monthly you know monetary policy review uh, the RBI you know provide the expected growth rate of the next quarters in the next years right and from 2018 they are going to provide on the basis of GDP right but previously from uh, January 2015 RBA started using the uh, gross value added method the GVA method for the same purpose but now RBA switched back to the GDP why they switched it so let's study them so first of all what is GVA and how it is different from GDP so GVA is a measure of total output and the income in the country. GVA is the rupee value of the amounts of goods and services produced in an economy after deducting the cost of inputs raw material that have gone into the production of those goods and services. So let's cut it short. GVA is the amount of goods and services produced in a country minus the cost of inputs and raw material that gone into the production of those goods and services very simple so why it it was used because the gva provides the sector specific picture it is you know it is a supply side mayor while the gdp is the uh, you know demand side mayor so it gives a sector specific picture that is why it, it was adopted in 2015 but what is the difference between GVA and GDP? See, GVA plus taxes minus the subsidies is equal to GDP. Because you know, taxes are not considered in GVA. And the tax treatment is different in GVA and the GDP. So GVA, from the national accounting perspective, it is the sum of uh, a country's GDP and the net subsidies and taxes in the economy. This is a simple definition. While the GDP... It gives the economic output from the consumer side. It is a sum of private consumption, gross investment in the economy, government investment, government spending and the net foreign trade. So that's what the GDP is. And this is the difference between G, uh, GDP and GVA. So the GDP is the economic output from the consumer side. While the GVA is the economic output from the supply side or the producer side. This is from supply side GVA and the GDP is from the consumer side. That is the major difference between the GVA and the GDP. So what is gross value added? Uh, I have already explained you and from that notification from RBI. I picked this, you know, these lines from the notification of RBI. So RBI cited the GDP method is the globally best method. See students, most of the country, almost you know, all the countries are using GDP method. And here it is RBI, here it is India. I mean, who picked the GDP, uh, GVA method. So how it is possible to compare the growth rate of India and China? How it is possible to uh, compare the growth rate of India and Sri Lanka or Pakistan? It is not possible. You can compare apple with apples. You can't compare apple with oranges, right? So while GVA gives a clear picture of state of economy from the producer's side, right? As I told you before, the GVA, G, uh, GVA gives a proper... Uh, 
clearer or more transparent picture of economic economic activity from the producer side the gdp model gives a clear picture from the consumer side so that is a major reason because uh, gdp is a global standard adopted by most of the international financial institu institutions and most of the countries most of the you know developed nations and even the developing nations so that is why the gdp is uh, adopted again so the government started had started analyzing the growth estimate using the gva method from jan 2015 and also changed the base year to 2018 from this january january 2018 now the new base year is 2018 so the performance of most economies is gauged in terms of gdp this is also approach followed by multilateral institutions international analysts investors and primarily they stick to this norms because it facilitates easy cross country comparison that's what i have already explained to you even the cso the central statistical office had started using the gdp since january 15 this year so that is why it was used so expected duration which of the following may year is re adopted by reserve bank of india to estimate its growth very important question student which of the following way is readopted it is the gross domestic product method it is not gross value added method right student it is very very important question just for one important question i am doing this lecture this short bite size lecture so that's all for today students uh, i recommend you i request you to please subscribe our youtube channel right uh, if you if you are on youtube uh, youtube slash bank exams today and please install the bank exams today bank exams today mobile app and in case you are preparing for the rbi grade b 2018 exam if you are preparing for rbi grade b if you are preparing for rbi grade b 2018 exam we are doing a proper full length course for rbi grade b 2018 exam the link to join the course is available in the description so go to the description and join the course uh, you can take a demo course the demo is also available and in case you have any problem you can call us 9067201000 that is my personal number so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day